Hello, everyone. Uh, we live in a connected world, which I mean, you all have cell phones, computers, internet, applications, and all actually connects you with the people around you, right? And also, right now, you're seeing me through this, this, this lightning, right? And some of them recording because they have ability to, to take a video. So there are a lot of electronics like that to actually make advantage of your life. So what is the base of these things? What is the thing actually that gives them this power and actually gives them you to do, actually use it? It is the energy. It is the electricity actually that we use. And it is, actually shows us, because it's this electronic devices in everywhere, the importance of energy in the world. So in the other side, when we look at the human population, this human population is increasing tremendously. Like you see at the peak, at the, at, at the end, it's actually like after Industrial Revolution, people started to you know, uh, you know, grow up, and the population is still growing that tremendous rate. And it is at this electronic device and also the energy side, it is kind of a problem. Why? Because the energy consumption is increasing tremendously, depend on this population growth. And, but this is, not the, this is not the problem. The real problem is we are depending on oil, coal, and its derivatives, like natural gas. That's the problem, because we are still using it. And still, actually, it is harmful to the nature. It's harmful to the people. So that's the bad, the bad side we have to take care of. It's not the only the population and everything. The wars and every, actually the many power uh, determinations and this race, this, this inequality in the world, all because of this source. Because this source is really important. All the countries and everyone actually goes for it. And this makes it the most important thing maybe in the world. This energy, this simple, this DC or AC uh, power, actually the most important one. But the important question actually, how you actually generate it, that's the, that has to be the biggest important issue. So in this picture, I just want to ask you, like, just look closely and look and see the inequality in this picture. This is a night photo in the world. And as you can see, if there's a laser, OK. The whole continent doesn't have electricity. Recently, in Africa, in the continent, they don't have electricity. And it is a basic need. It is a basic need of people. And they still don't have it. Some places they have, but the majority are living in, in, a, in, in not, not, not a actually situation like we live in here, in Europe and also in America. So uh, something has to change. This inequality has to change. Not only in Africa, there are other places in Asia or other places. So th this has to change in somehow. But this actually, at the same time, it's a kind of hard thing. Because uh, you have to do a lot of stuff. You have to need something like magic. Because there is another problem is coming, which is global warming. So I want to ask you, like, how many of you heard global warming? So how many of you know exactly what that really means? Because we all heard that, OK, global warming. But we are just saying, OK, it can be handled somehow. But is it something like that? It can be an you know, easy, easy solution. There is an easy solution for that. No. There is not an easy solution for that. We have to act for it. Like, I want to actually give a detailed idea about this, this uh, global warming. Think about a blanket, this blanket covering the, all the Earth. And this blanket made of carbon dioxide. So this carbon, recently, like last decade, we are releasing more carbon dioxide than before, like huge amount of carbon dioxide. So that makes this actually blanket thicker. And the problem is the sun is goes in, reflects, and out. But when the blanket is getting thicker, it cannot go, go outside and stay inside. So that makes global warming. That's the, actually the explanation of global warming. And this is problem because the carbon dioxide is getting you know, thicker, and now it stays in here, melting issues, the earthquakes, the nature balance are actually uh, destroyed right now. And it's still destroying. So we have to do something for it. We have to actually act for it, but how? So firstly. I believe we have to say enough. Enough all these resources like natural gas, oil, coal, and everything. We have to say enough emotionally and also act. We have to act on like that. So, uh, but enough is enough? No, it is not. It shouldn't be that, that, that easy. You, ha you need something. You need something more. You need some tools to actually pretend that 
like wars, inequality, and everything. So you need magic. We absolutely need magic. And this magic has to be simple that at the same time people can understand it and also they can contribute it. Because of that reason, this magic has to be important. So I was actually following this magic when I was in high school I started. So I went to the United States, I, I was in high school in there and I worked in a nuclear energy facility and I saw the, all these things, what are they doing, what, you know, every process. And I, and I saw that there is some issues with the nuclear power plantation because it, there is a waste problem, there is also security issues, and, and it's also a really expensive one. And at the same time, I went, I traveled Germany to work on wind energy to find this magic, but I couldn't find with the wind because the potential of the wind was not enough to be a magic also, you know, save the world. So then I went lastly, South Korea. And I found this. This is the solar cell. What makes it magical is when it just has sunlight on it, it starts to get, you know, create electricity. It's just simple. You just have sunlight and then the electricity is done. And the sun for everyone, for equal than the, all the resources, for everyone we have sun. So I thought that this could be the magic. So I was working on like three years, last three years, I was working on solar energy. And not only the panels, this is the panels, but also the concentration ones. This is the mirrors, all of them are in the mirror. So these are also good sources, but I believe in this one. So, um, and it is not actually the only thing because uh, like in the history, they were actually invented it. It, it was there in the whole history, but it couldn't actually improve itself because the government, the, the, all the strategy, all this, you know, the order in the world actually made it stop. But now it shouldn't stop because we have a problem. We have a big problem to solve, and this could be the solution. And right now, actually, Germany and also United States, like, like just one week ago, the United Nations, like the United States, actually made a... Uh, agreement with the renewable energy resources and give a report of that. So the biggest power of the earth, like United States, now started to actually invest and also support the renewable energy. And the, the sun will be the, the, the most popular one around them. So the solar panel costs are decreasing. With this, actually, the, the market is growing. This is, this, is, this is the thing actually right now is happening, and it will be happening like that. So it's, it will be the, actually the popular, the popular demand of the future. So the market is growing, everything is going fine right now, but is, it's not enough for now. So, so I want to give you an example, like how you actually can use it. Like, okay, we are saying solar panels, we are saying solar cells can elect, make electricity. So when you see this, if you have 60 of them, you will have the panel, like the panel like this big. And if you have a house which generates like kilo, two kilowatts, maybe more than this, this one is a big house. So if you have like a roof like that, and you can use like 60 of the, 16 of the panels to generate all this home electricity. And in general, in, in Turkey, the houses are like smaller than this one, so you will need maybe less. And they are all saying it is so expensive. All the people are saying it's so expensive. It is, you know, you cannot do that. It's breakable or something like that. But actually, it's not because you can buy this thing like. 10,000 euros and seven, uh, seven uh, years you can get the payback, 25 years warranty. So all the conditions are ready. The technology is ready right now. Okay, technology is ready and the people want to make its decision. So how about the potential of solar? How, about the, how, how can we see the sun power? And when you look at this data, this is all the resources in the world. These ones are the finite ones. Like that's the reason we have, we, I put the total number of generation terawatt. But these ones are the yearly ones, like wind, biomass, and everything. And, you know, they are going to finish soon in summer because this, this consumption is raising really fast. And now, when you see the solar power, it's, it's actually like bigger than the total one. And this one is the yearly production. And if you can get all this sunlight, into these materials and generate electricity, there won't be energy solution uh, problem. And there won't be wars, there won't be this inequality in the world because it is getting more inequal 
in whole the word. So we have to add something, we have to do something to make it a bit more equal, a bit more democratic maybe at the same time. So this can be the tool for it. So, uh, but in, in this manner, okay, we said there's a potential, there is a technology, okay, we have a problem, so what do we do next? This is the time for decision. This is the time for you to make a decision and, okay, let's go for solar and make a solar plantation at your home or some other places. We have to decide on one thing. And all the communities also have to take uh, actions of that. So this is the word for community. I want you to read it like, when the power of love overcomes the love of power, the world will know the peace. We shouldn't love oil. We shouldn't love natural gas. We should love nature, because the nature is the key of our future. That's why we have to, uh, enough to say love of power. We, ha we have to first look at the power of love. And also for each individual in here, and also the others, has to remind itself that actually you are the change if you want to see a change in the world. You must be the one. You have to act on it. You have to do something for it. Otherwise, nothing, nothing can happen. Like you see in the Gezi Park, if there were just a hundred guys, that wasn't happening, something like that. But if everyone was willing to that, so there was an emotional thing at that time. And when you understand your real power, the power of actually the community, the power of people, then the others will understand it real, real, really clearly. So I, myself, actually don't want to leave word like that. And in the future, I, want, I don't want to act like a person in here. It's not good. It's not really good for our future. Because like in Syria, now people are dying. But in here, we live in peace. So you see the inequality? Maybe one day, we will be in the same situation. Who can say, the, no, we can't? But there, there could be. There is a chance. So we have to act for the inequality in other places on the earth, like in Africa, like in another place. So we have to be better than this. We have to act something for it. So um, I believe one day this solar power and also this all energy problem will be solved. And the solar will be the, um, I imagine, I hope, will be the key for it because it has a potential. It has everything. It has technology. You just have to decide. All individuals have to decide. When you decide, when you get together for solar, for this energy problem, when you do something for this problem, then it will be solved. Because the biggest, pro big, biggest uh, power in the world is you. So go for solar. Thank you. <laughs>